My name is Katie Fitzpatrick. I am 16 years old and I'm from Philadelphia and I am diagnosed with scoliosis. I have a VBT correction already and a spondylolisthesis correction and I went to five different uh, chief of surgeries to figure out what the best options were for me and they all told me I needed surgery. Um, they all were between either getting a fusion or doing the verbal body tethering, the VBT. And we decided um, right before my surgery that we were going to go with the VBT at Chiners Hospital for Children. I was very nervous about the pain, um, if I was going to respond well to the medication and the anesthesia, um, if my current was going to get worse or if it was the uh, surgery was going to fail and just the overall experience of it because I was terrified of needles at that point and you know surgery was so much worse than that. I would tell you to listen to your doctors. Whatever plan they give you, it's most likely the best, best option for you, so follow that. If they tell you to do physical therapy, even if you don't want to do it, do it. If they tell you to wear your brace a certain amount of hours a day, do it. If they tell you to a swim, do it because I've done swimming and it works. It strengthens your back and you feel better because you're in less pain. Right now, I am recovered from my past two um, procedures. One was the uh, tethering procedure for my scoliosis and the other one was to correct my spondylolisthesis, which was my fusion. And I am about to, in about a month, have another surgery to recorrect my um, scoliosis. I would always um, encourage all patients to attend however scoliosis because when you're um, first getting diagnosed, you really know nothing about it. And coming to power over scoliosis, you're talking to doctors that might be your potential caregiver. You're talking to different patients who have already had the surgery or different treatment plans, and you just get to learn about it. And people get to tell you how you will feel. And being a patient, talking to someone who's already been through it, they're telling you the real thing. You're not getting the generic um, different materials and different information from doctors. You're getting exactly their story.